So early on, I got involved with the PAPCOR, and I understand exactly how important your role is when it comes to developing novel therapies for cancer. And so today, I really want to focus on you know, some of the new programs which we're building down there, uh, you know, things which we're lacking uh, over the last couple years and are really changing how we treat uh, you know, patients who have brain tumors. I think that if you look around the country, there, there are several major brain tumor centers which really offer top-notch care. Um, and, and I had the privilege of, of being at some of these places like Duke, like Johns Hopkins, like Columbia, like Sloan Kettering. Uh, and we're going to bring something just like that down here to Miami. And I think the key message uh, is that people who have brain tumors, which can be very complex, don't need to travel and that just a simple hour away, there, there will be a, a program just as comprehensive uh, and just as cutting edge as those other centers. Um, so as background, we're going to be forming a center which has over 100 different clinicians who are interested in brain tumors. These are people who not only have an interest clinically, but also research-wise. Uh, and when it comes to treating patients who have brain tumors, you know, the, the, the real breakthroughs are going to come when you're talking about research, because the surgical component uh, really plays a very, very small role. People who have this disease really need novel and, 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 and kind of personalized therapy. And, and I'm going to use that word over and over again, because that's the future of real all cancer therapy. You know, nowadays, if someone has a certain type of cancer, they get treated with a certain standard of care, uh, and the outcomes in general tend to be poor. I think the real breakthroughs, especially when it comes to brain tumors, are going to happen when you treat patients individually and personalized based on the exact type of tumor they have. So, so, the, key, so the key thing to notice is that no two brain tumor patients will have the same response to treatment. So even if two patients have a grade three tumor, even though they're both under the same category, those tumors have different mutations uh, and they're just, and they're just you know, different at baseline. And if you give the same therapy to those two patients, one may respond and one will not. And so the goal is really having personalized therapy. And I wanna talk a little bit about, about this trial which we started down at Miami, uh, which really kind of focuses on personalized medicine and I think that it is the future of cancer therapy. So when someone presents and they have a brain tumor, uh, we, we do the surgery and we harvest that patient's own brain tumor. So using their own tissue, we can then purify down certain proteins. We isolate those proteins and we concentrate them and we give them back to the patient about six to eight weeks post-op. And the goal is to really spark the patient's own immune system to fight their tumor because the only cells which express those proteins are the tumor itself. So as opposed to radiation and chemotherapy, which can have very, very toxic side effects, you're talking about something which has minimal downside, minimal side effects, and is directed at that patient's own tumor only. And this is something which has been, been done when it comes to pancreatic cancer, lung cancer, and all different types of cancer, but it's the first time that it's being done for patients who have brain cancer. Uh, and so I think this is just the start of a new wave of therapy. So rather than just every patient going through the same standard of care, which is why the outcomes for brain tumors really hasn't changed over the last 20 to 30 years. Uh, and, that, and that really is something which we're focusing on and that will change with, with therapy like this.